Hey guys, it's CMDR coming at you today with a video. This is about my Nexus S. Uh, many of you may have heard about Boot to Gecko, or as it's now known, uh, Mozilla Firefox OS. It's Mozilla's uh, project to uh, release a fully fledged uh, operating system, open source. It's HTML5 and written in CSS and Java. And uh, there's a uh, alpha build for it on the Nexus S. Well, not technically alpha. Uh, Mozilla is actually releasing nightlies for it. So it's kind of one of their official devices. So I flashed ROM through a Clockwork mod or Touchwork mod recovery, whichever one you use. And um, I'm just going to be showing uh, what's in the ROM. So uh, enjoy. <coughs> As you can see, I have my Nexus 7 here. I'm going to be showing you guys the boot times and stuff. Because this, uh, this OS is very, very fast when it comes to boot timing, like turning off and turning back on. So I'm going to be showing you that later to show how fast it turns on. Uh, this is the first boot, so obviously it took a little longer this time. But here's the lock screen. As you can see, it's a slide lock screen. You can It's a little laggy. You can slide to the right or the left, right to unlock, left to the camera. We know this. Uh, haptic feedback, the motor inside works. Uh, it's vibrating. And uh, there's a little sound. It unlocked it. Uh, so I guess this is the home screen. There are little icons. There's social. Oh, these are folders. I think. Get yeah, social. Connect to the internet. Okay. Well, everything really works. All the radios work. Wi-Fi works. Uh, calling works. I'll show you that in a minute. I need to uh, set up the Wi-Fi. There are pages, and it's pretty interesting. I haven't tried this before. Uh, I tried it when it was still boot to gecko a long time ago when you know the alphas were still going around. So I have no idea. Okay, airplane mode. I don't know if that's on. Okay, Wi-Fi. GPS works. Everything works. So, I'm going to turn on Wi-Fi real quick. Password. The, uh, the keyboard kind of sucks. It's really laggy. I mean, the keyboard's alright. It's just slow. That took a while. Whoops. All right, there we go. Okay, the button's are really small. I don't know if this is for the Galaxy S2 screen because before the Galaxy S2 was their official device, I guess the Nexus S they added it in. They didn't rescale everything because everything's really tiny, like the status bar up there. Uh, that's really really small. Uh, by the way, there's a notification shade. You guys might recognize this look. This is uh, from Android, kind of. They kind of borrowed it from Android, just like iOS did. Uh, there are toggles at the bottom, just like you'd see in Cyanogen Mod. Little toggles. Uh, Wi-Fi, uh, data, Bluetooth. Not sure what that is. I think that's settings. Here it shows you uh, how much data you have on the device, how much storage you have. It says 343 megabytes used and one gigabyte limit. So that's pretty interesting. And notifications, there's a clear all button. Obviously, I don't have any to show you guys. But Wi Fi is working, so I'll show you guys some of the apps uh, to get apps from social. So I guess these folders are kind of like links to the uh, market where you can download them. Mm, all the buttons work. I want to search do. I don't think it does anything. Okay, so I'll hop into the browser real quick, show you guys what that looks like. If you've used Firefox, uh, the browser on Android, it looks very, very similar. Um, I've been told it's slow. I saw a video on this earlier, but I'll look something up. I uh, guess I'll go to XDA. This is a big site. It should take a while to load, so we'll see how fast it is. Offline mode. Say well, offline. I'm not offline. It says I'm on Wi Fi. That's weird. Huh. Seems to work. Try again. That is really weird. It's giving me a little error saying that Wi-Fi isn't working, but it clearly is. I don't know. Maybe that's a problem with the browser. It should be working. I saw it work before. But I'll go into the dialer. Maybe I'll figure that out later. Uh, sound works. It's really loud. The speaker is fully functioning. Uh, you know what? I'll I'll call somebody. Well, I'm not going to call anybody. But let's see if it calls. Yeah, it works. Yeah, the speaker works. Everything works. Um, seems to work just fine. So let's get out of there. This is messaging, the texting application. Obviously, it's not that much different from the Android version. No messaging. It looks just like it. They've taken a page out of a lot of stuff in Android for uh, this OS. A lot of stuff is very, very similar. <coughs> uh, let's see. What else? What is this? People. This is a contact app. Again, looks just like the... Uh, it looks just like the ICS application. In fact, this is very similar to Android. Uh, what else? 
the camera. I don't know if the camera works. Let's see. Huh, whoa, the camera actually works. I was not expecting that at all. That is crazy. It works. Does the video camera work? Can it take pictures? Wow. The uh, flash works. The camera works. Everything works. That's crazy. Uh, let's go to this. What is this? These are pictures, I guess. I'm not going to go into that. Oh. Okay, oh, slowed down a little bit. Oh, is this multitasking? I think that's multitasking. How do I how do I do that? Hold up, I think the menu key is multitasking. Is it? No, it's not. I have no idea. That is weird. Now it's just lagging. I have no idea what's going on. Let's go back into the camera, see if video camera works. Now it's just not loading. Uh well, I mean, it's an old phone, it's old hardware, and this is a fairly new OS, so I'm guessing this is a little alpha. I wonder how multitasking works. I hope the home button isn't do. Oh, no, something just happened. I'm not sure how to do multi- camera? Oh, you hold the home button. It's a little slow, but it works. It works, apparently. Um... Let's see what other apps they have. They have a marketplace. I just saw that. Maps. Oh, they have a Maps app. Okay, well, let's see how that looks. I wonder if they're using Google Maps or Bing Maps or whatever Microsoft. Or not Microsoft, but uh, Mozilla uses. App is not loading properly. Well, obviously something's wrong with the Wi-Fi. It says I have signal, but obviously isn't. So... I don't know what's up with that. There's radio. I don't, does that work? I don't even think the Nexus S has a radio chip in it. This is weird. Uh, plugged in headset. That's right. You guys might remember this from the Sanjin Mod 7 days when radio was included in uh, in the devices. Settings. Let's go. Let's hop into Wi-Fi. See if it's... Yo, it's stuck at connecting. Uh, I might have put in the wrong password or something. Let me try this again. Hold up. I'll have to do it all over again. Forget. Let's try that again. This keyboard is very, very slow. Okay. Signal strength. Security. Okay, not sure what's up with that. But, yeah, that's right. It should work this time. The Wi-Fi, you know, signal thing is there. It just sits at connecting. I have no idea. That seems to be a bug. When I looked on the uh, ROM pad, by the way, I oh, it's connected. All right, so I'll show you guys uh, the web browser real quick. But before I go into that, I want to show you guys um, the uh, the page. It's by Moriarty. He's uh, kind of helping compile and port it to the uh, Nexus 7. I'll post a link in the description. Um, apparently, a lot of it works. The only thing that don't work is a video camera. I didn't see that, and it's a little laggy. That's all he says. 70% uh, of the ROM is there. That's what he says. So. I assume it's going to work well. Let's go into browser. Well, let's go into maps. I wanted to see that. App's not loading. Okay, reload. Try again. Okay, obviously. I'm going to restart this. I'm going to reboot it. Okay, power off. This is actually a nice OS. If it wasn't so laggy, you know, I don't actually like it. As you can tell, it it turned off in less than a second. That is very, very fast. I'm actually going to time the boot up sequence on my Nexus 7. So, uh, how are we going to do this? Button, go. Okay, well, that was a fail. But, anyways, I'll just, let, I'll just show you the boot up sequence right here. It's very, very fast. It boots up in almost four seconds after the boot screen. Uh, the boot loader, obviously. It just says Mozilla. It blinks and it's on, just like that. Let's see if Wi-Fi works this time. I think the first boot might have messed it up or something a little bit. I'm not sure. By the way, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, you should do it. I set up, I post videos about Nexus 7, PS Vita, Nexus S, and I'm soon going to be buying the Nexus 4. 
So, for you guys interested in that, you know, subscribe to my channel. There will be videos coming up for that really, really soon. Uh, so, let's get into the rest of this. All right. Uh, Wi-Fi seems to be stable. It looks like it. So, I'll go into the browser. We'll look at the browser real quick. Okay. Loads that. So, let's go to XDA. There. It remembered that. Whoa. It's actually loading. And it uses Bing. Surprise, surprise. It doesn't use... Uh, Google uses Bing, so obviously. Uh, server not found. Obviously, trying to load a little bit, so I don't know. Now, now it's just glitching up. Like there's a little part that's. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Let's try to do it again. Problem loading page. All right. What else? The Wi-Fi is obviously not working well in this ROM. It's a little flaky. Nothing's loading at all. This is the gallery app. I'll show you guys this. Uh, no pictures. Well, I have some on my SD card. I don't know why they're not loading. Mm, there's this. Select images. All right. Well, obviously my images aren't loading. I don't know if it's you know something wrong with the SD card. But did you see that animation? That's apparently their multitasking, like switching apps animation. I like how the camera works though, it's really nice. And it's a nice interface, it's really clean, everything works, besides the video camera obviously. I wanted to see the multitasking thing, that was really cool. The camera right here, gallery, okay, so you guys, whoops. You guys saw that, it's kind of like the old Palm OS, where you have little cards. It's very slow to load the, the thumbnails for it, but you can do that, it won't let you turn, it'll just freeze up. But as you can see it looks pretty nice let's go to the music application see how it looks mix playlist artist so it looks it looks you know like the android one pretty much it looks like google music mm. let's see if it loads anything from my sd card probably not mm. yeah yeah it's not loading any of my music add songs i thought so Apparently, the SD card is broken in this build. It just doesn't load things from the uh, SD card. It's got a PDF viewer right here, email, application, native. There's a clock app. There's a calculator. The PDF reader is really nice because most Android handsets don't come with that in it. The clock, apps look clock app looks really nice. You can set alarm. It's very clean looking, and it's like the Android one. I guess you can swipe. I have no idea how this works. Uh, let's see what else. I have no idea what these are. I think this is part of the market or like a search tool. But I honestly have no idea what these shortcuts are. Oh, I see what this is. Oh, so these are folders and they involve apps, but they're not on your device. They're like from the cloud, I guess. Let's go to Google+. Plus. If it loads the app, I'll be happy. There's like a cat background. I don't know. Does it change it every time you scroll? I guess it does. I don't know. It looks like it. Anyways. Whoa. It just loaded a lot more apps. Where are these apps coming from? I think these are just apps uh, from the market or something. Image source. Uh, what is this? Google Plus. Yes. So I guess it's just loading these apps from the cloud. They're not actually on your device because all those apps would be huge. I mean, I really like the notification shade. I love it. It's very clean, it's nice. I like the shortcuts at the bottom. That's good. Oh, it loaded. Oh, these aren't apps. These are uh these are little HTML5. These are uh links to I guess the web page. Well internet obviously works, so I'll go into the browser right now. Since internet works, it loaded the app. So problem loading page, let's try that again. Oh, it's loading. Wow, that is fast. Whoa. I don't know if you guys see this, but the internet is just freaking out. It is. This browser is completely broken and panning. Everything is just floating around. I'll load XDA developers. The rotation thing, there's no animation. It's just rotating like that. Uh, what else? So this is XDA. It's a little slow. I'm not sure how fast it is compared to Android. It seems a little bit slower. Panning around once it's loaded seems really smooth. Everything's 
panning around just fine. There's no lag. Whoa. Every now and then it gets all stretched out. I don't know if that's, you know, halfway through scrolling it'll stretch out really weird. But it's all right for browsing, I guess. Does pinch to zoom work? Yeah, pinch to zoom is really snappy. It's snappier than Android, definitely. Definitely snapper than Jelly Bean or ICS or any of that. It's very fast. All right. So Wi-Fi works. Apparently, it just took a reboot to get that going. Let's look into the apps that require internet now. Maps. Offline mode. It seems to be loading. There's a little loading icon at the top when Wi-Fi is working. So now I know. All right. Now it just seems like it's frozen. Well, I guess we're just going to skip the map since obviously that is just a piece of shit. Uh, let's go into the marketplace, see how this looks. I was really excited about the marketplace, but then I thought, you know, what if it's like the Windows phone marketplace with like four apps in it, so. Seems to be loading a little bit. Geolocation? Yeah, sure. This is definitely not a daily driver, though. I mean, well, it could be if all you need is app is having problems. Okay. Uh, if you all you, if all you do is calling and nothing else at all, then yes, I guess sure this is an okay ROM. But for anybody who needs internet on their phone, this has got to be the worst thing ever. Of course, there are many different ver see Wi-Fi just cut out for no reason at all. So this is obviously very 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 iffy. No, it's laggy. The lag isn't really the problem. It's the problem that half the apps don't load and Wi-Fi doesn't work. Uh, I also have a different mo uh, ROM for this. I'll make a new video for you guys, but this is this ROM. I'll post a, uh, a link to the ROM if you guys want to try this out. It's uh, Boot to Gecko on the Nexus S. So uh, rate, comment, subscribe.